Sundial Growers had an excellent trading today, closing around the $1.60 per share mark. And we're going to talk about some of the latest news surrounding SNDL, as well as where they are in terms of support and resistance. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. We're gonna make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe, become a bro, and we're gonna grow our portfolios together. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about Sundial Growers and the latest and greatest information out there and what they're doing because I believe this company has a huge amount of potential when it comes to the cannabis sector and we could really see the, the stock price take off not in the long term. Not you know we don't have to wait for things like legalization to take place and all of that. This company is really positioning itself to rocket higher, and I'm excited about the newest joint venture that they just announced. So Sundial Growers announced that they were doing a 50/50 joint venture with SAF Opportunities, and the new joint venture is going to be called Sunstream Bancorp. Now this is awesome news because they're they're I think they're putting in a hundred million dollar investment, and they're positioning themselves to really take advantage of not only the Canadian cannabis market, but the worldwide cannabis market as well. Now, why is this awesome? Because Sundial Growers recently had a lot of debt to worry about. They had, you know, they were they weren't doing as well as people would have hoped that they were doing. And we saw their stock price drop all the way down to like 50 cents per share before bottoming and then kind of slowly rising higher. And it's been on a nice uptrend ever since. You know, we tapped out around four dollars per share before dropping back down and finding support at a dollar per share. And we had a lot of support at a dollar per share, which I really liked. And now we've bounced up, had an excellent day today, and it's really on some pretty good news. You know, this new joint venture, I believe, could really position Sundial Growers to do well. Why? Because it's almost like the United States market is locked down right now, okay? We're just this gold mine waiting to be tapped, and it's, it's going to be almost a free-for-all when the market opens up and all of these companies are trying to fight for market share, fight for customers, and things like that. Well, Sundial Growers, it's almost like the tiger waiting to pounce, right? They've cleared up their debt. They've got cash on hand. They took advantage of the increase in share price offered new shares, they had a secondary offering, and they were really able to position their balance sheet in an excellent way that they're going to be able to take advantage of the U.S. market when it does decide to open up. Now look, when we're talking about things like this and changes in the law and everything that goes along with government, it's going to be slow. So once we see rumors start churning a little bit again, it might be better. And, and the old adage goes, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news, things like that. Once the rumors start to surface again, that we could be legalizing things here in the United States and decriminalizing things here in the United States, all of that stuff is really going to be excellent news for stocks like Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. It's going to rocket the stock higher and we're going to see some huge gains, so you want to be a part of it before that happens. Now look, $1.60 is a very significant level. That's where we're trading at right now. Why is it significant? Because we've got some excellent resistance right here, right where we're trading at now. If we break above the $1.60 mark, if we break above this range and say we start trading at $1.70, if we open higher and bust through that resistance tomorrow, the stock Sundial Growers could really rocket higher and retest those recent highs that we saw around $3.80 or $4.00. Uh, I think it tapped $4, close to $4.20 in after hours trading, but if you're looking at a daily chart, I believe it shows like $3.80 was that recent high. So if we get up there, if we break through this $1.60 mark, we're really not gonna have too much resistance before we double in price and start to tap that recent high. And once we break that, guys, the game is on. It's going to rocket to the moon from there, and I'm super excited about it. So this stock has everything that I like going for it. You know, it, it's got no debt right now. 
awesome news. It's positioned itself and it's doing these joint ventures and growing its business and just waiting to pounce on the US market, on that gold mine when it finally opens. And the thing I like about it is we don't have to wait for the United States to open up the market to really see the gains in the stock price. That's the awesome part. And one of the other things that I like too, guys, don't forget that everybody's gonna be receiving these stimulus checks here and 50% of retail investors our age, I believe it was like 18 to 35 or, or 25 to 35, somewhere in that range, is going to be investing 50% of their stimulus checks in the stock market. So we're going to see some increased volume. We're going to see some increased prices strictly based on that inflow of new money into the market. So it's got to be something you're excited about. We really should start seeing that take place this week. And other stocks are doing very well as well. I know a lot of you on this channel, you watch about AMC, you watch about GameStop. And yes, GameStop fell a little bit today, but AMC had an excellent day. We've got another video that I just posted on AMC today. So if you haven't checked that one out, make sure to watch that video. We've got some great information in there on why that stock is rocketing higher. Now guys, I want to know if you've been holding on to Sundial Growers, if you think SN DL stock is going to rocket higher at the open tomorrow based on all this news on this joint venture news and everything that's following it if we could retest those recent highs of three dollars and eighty cents per share let us know in the comments below inspire us with the gains you're making inspire us to become better investors and guys look we're here we're here to grow a, a community of investors and really support each other in becoming better investors and the main goal is to grow our portfolios together so jump down there, guys. And if you're brand new to investing, some of you are. I know you're brand new. You haven't made your first trade yet. If you're looking for a brokerage account, Webull is an excellent broker. They've got a great platform, and it is super simple to set up your trading account. All you got to do is click that link in the description below. It's going to pull you up. And just by using that link, you're going to get a couple free stocks just for signing up and making your first deposit of $100 or more. And you can really get started from there. And the cool thing is, a lot of people have been telling me that they're getting free shares of AMC stock just for signing up with my link and using it. And they're very happy because everybody knows all the excitement surrounding AMC right now is just, it's contagious, right? Everybody wants to be a part of it and they're able to join the movement for free. They don't even have to go out and purchase the stock. So if you want to share this video, make sure to share it. Tag me almost anywhere at Claybro. I'd love to follow you guys back and really see what everybody's interested in investing in. And look, if you're still here and that subscribe button is still red, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a bro. We're growing these portfolios and we're going for 10,000 subscribers. So it would really help me out. Now until the next time, guys, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.